The objective of this video is to find estimated values for the mean and median from a histogram. In particular, I will be working with an example that comes straight from our textbook, the Houghton Mifflin Florida Algebra 1 Analyze Connect Explore textbook. Thank you. Okay, in our textbook on page 450 in the histogram section, we have uh, an example of a histogram that we are asked to find the estimated mean and the estimated median of those of the, the data in that histogram. Now, as you can see, inside the histogram, we don't know exact numbers. We know that there are three people that are between the ages of 30 and 39, but we don't know their exact age. There are 10 people that are between 40 and 49, but we don't know their exact age. So we don't have exact data points in order to calculate that mean, median, or anything like that in there. So to find the mean, we work with the, uh, the, the median age of each of these intervals. Now, with the median age, the way we're going to calculate this, we're going to find that median of the ages 30 to 39. So here are the numbers 30 through 39. And if I start crossing off one from each end like this, I'm going to find that the middle is not going to be the 35. It's going to be somewhere between these two numbers because I have four over here, four over here. These two end up in the middle, which would give you a median of 34.5. But I don't really want to work with 34.5. That's just an odd number to work with. And when you think about this, 39 is not really the end here. If you are 39 years old and 11 months, it will be 11 twelfths there, you would still be considered 39. So we're going to look at this, to looking at the age, we're going to call the median 35 and work with 35. So many times when working for this median of the intervals here, you can work with the low end of the one interval and the low end of the next interval, which would be in this case 40, find the difference between those, which would be a 10. I'm going to make it positive, even though it would be negative here. This is a positive 10 difference. So we're talking about 10 difference, and half of that would be 5. So that makes this the median 35. So record, working with that median of 35 for that first one, we say we have two people that are in that 30 to 39 range and working with a median of 35. We'd have 2 times 35. That would give us a total of 70 here. Now we're going to do the same thing for each of these, working with that median value times the frequency for each one. And that's going to give us, add that all up, and that will give us a total age, a total of all the ages and we divide by the number of people all together, and we will find that an estimated value for the average or mean of the ages. So here we are. We take this, the, we work with that median age for each of these medians here, multiply by the frequency for each one of them here, 2, 10, 30, 37, 18, and 3, working with those frequencies and these medians, add up all those, we get 6,180. To find the average, we need to divide by the total number of people in there. The total number of people works out to be 100 total people. That's a 2, 10, 30, 30, all that added up to 100 people. So if we take that 6,180, divide by 100, we would get... 61.8, which gives us approximately 62 years of age. Now let's look at finding the median. To find the median, we need to realize that since there are 100 people in this survey here, that the median is going to fall, well, it's going to fall between two numbers, because this is an even number, so that means it's going to fall between two numbers. It's going to fall somewhere between the 50th and 51st person in age from the least to greatest. 
So somewhere between that 50th and 51st age, we have to figure out where that person's going to be age-wise. Well, there are two people in this age group, 10 in this one, 30 in this one. So between these, we have a total of 42. Here, there are 3 and 18, which means from here, there's a total of 21, which means that our median is going to fall somewhere in here, probably closer to that side than it is to this side, but it's going to be somewhere in that 60 to 69 age group. Okay, so to do that, we need to look at the lower age and the upper age. We've got an interval of 10 here, and we need to find out what fraction of the numbers are going to be, uh, what fractional part of that is uh, this going into it? So 42, how far in till we, hit the, till we hit the 50 and 51? And to do that, we would work with the going from 42 to the 50, 51 would be going up 8.5 to get you smack dab in the middle because 42 plus 8.5 will give you 50.5. That gives you that point that's smack dab in the middle between the 50th and 51st person in age line there. Now, 8.5 out of the total of 37 that are in that group, 8.5 out of 37 gives you a decimal of 0 0.23. Take that decimal value multiply that by the interval width of 10, and that's going to give you 2.3. Add that to the minimum age of 60, 2.3. You end up getting a 62.3, which rounds to, again, 62. Well, this, this estimate makes sense because it, it would make sense for the median and the mean to be the same. And we did get the same 62 for the mean and the median. Again, remember, these are just estimates. We don't know the exact value because we don't have the exact numbers. But this is a reasonable estimate. More reasonable than you would get with just kind of saying, eh, it's somewhere between 60 and 69. After finding the estimated mean, you can estimate the standard deviation using the median of each interval as many times as the frequency indicates and by using the estimated mean with it. So in this particular example, we would take that 35 minus the average mean of 62 and square that since there was two 35s, two frequencies of 35. We would do that a second time. Then we'd use the 45 minus the mean of 62 and continue with that. We'd do that 10 times. Then we'd do 55 minus 62, 30 times and square. Do all that and divide, eventually divide by the 100 and do the square root to get the answer. Not asking you guys to do that here, and uh, I don't believe they're going to ask you to find an estimated value of anywhere near this many numbers in a frequency uh, table like this. Uh, I, get, I believe it just being good enough to know at this point that you could estimate the standard deviation following this method.